Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what I'm going to show you how to do is to build a cheap and inexpensive interlock switch to uh, keep you from backfeeding power into the overhead power line. So if you're interested in that, be sure and watch. Well, here's the several stages uh, going through this little build of this interlock. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to take the masking tape and tape them on the panel. And when it's all said and done, you'll end up with a template something like this. And this panel that I have right here, this is a, a Square D 100 amp uh, service panel that I have in my shop and I have the 100 amp breaker right here and your first breaker that's going to be to the right that is going to be your generator breaker and my generator uh, it will generate a maximum of 30 amps so I, I needed a 30 amp breaker right here and that will be the supply for my panel right now everything is on except this breaker and so what I'll what I'll do is I'll start off and I'll tape it kind of right there and I'll take my next piece and tape it right about there so what you see when you get get this kind of figured out then that's going to be your basic beginning shape right there of your pattern and then you'll come across and put your tape right there now I already have my studs mounted on my panel but if I didn't have those in then my next would be this next piece and I would put it in there. So this is my starting template that I'm going to have. And once you have it down here on the table, these that you initially had the tape up there to hold them up, you can just kind of fold them over. It's not necessary that you add the extra tape, but uh, I did just so um, it would be nice and sturdy. And you'll put this up and you'll tape it. And if you see on this right here, what I opted to do is I wanted to have a little place to where I could just grab this instead of trying to fiddle with this thing to get it slid over. Uh, once you have your template made, then you'll be able to put it in place where you've got this piece and this piece. You cannot turn this breaker on unless you turn this breaker off. So that's why you cut the slots here and you can slide this to the left after you've turned your service line utility breaker off. Because once you've fired up your generator, you don't want to be sending your generated power back up through the utility lines. Uh, there might be a lineman out there working on the overhead lines and you could electrocute them. So anyway, this is kind of a fail-safe fail -safe system to be sure and make you cut your uh, service off at your box. Once you have your model all put together the way you like it, and you have it taped up and your holes positioned, then uh, you need to get a piece of tin or aluminum. Just a piece of scrap is fine and I take my sharpie now that you've got that you've got your template transferred to your metal 
and then I'll just take my shears and I'll cut it out. Uh, even though your template has these rounded corners, while you're cutting it out, just cut everything in 90 degree angles of each other. Uh, it's easier to cut it out at this stage like that and because if you're trying to spin your your shears around you're gonna have a tough time I mean it's not impossible uh, but to me it's just a little easier and I try to at this stage I try to leave some of the line because then what I can do a little later is take a file and I can shape it the way I want it. But like here. And anyway, uh, I'll drill this. I'll take uh, one of those carpenter squares and I'll draw straight lines so I make sure that my, my slots are parallel with one another. And then I'll take my file and I'll round these corners. Once you've decided where to drill your holes and mount your studs and you've got your slots on your interlock right there, I just added washers and here I have uh, nylon lock nuts. Well here what I wanted to show you was that now that I have these adjusted and they have just a, a slight amount of drag on them. The flat washers that I use I buy in bulk so they're just pressed out and they have kind of a rough edge and then a smooth edge so I have it flipped over to the smooth edge. As you can see right here with my 100 amp breaker on I can't turn my generator on so I'm not going to be able to actually run anything off the generator till I flip my 100 amp breaker off. Then I'm going to be able to slide this over and then I can flip my breaker on. So then the utility line is uh, protected from backfeeding my generator current into the uh, utility lines. Well, if you're interested in having an interlock switch on your circuit panel in case your power should go out, this is an easy and simple way to build and install one. So anyway, as always, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.